Hello! Today we are going to learn about one of my favorite subjects, limericks. A limerick is a five-line poem with, an, with, a rhymes, with a rhyme scheme that goes A, A, B, B, A. And they're usually pretty hilarious. Um, Roger Gordon wrote one that kind of explains what, what a limerick is. Uh, a limerick is a poem anatomical that packs laughs into space economical. The good ones I've seen are so seldom clean and the clean ones are so seldom comical. So they can be absolutely filthy. Um, a, a search for them on the internet could, could lead one to very dark places. But that's not what we're doing today. I don't want any of your work to be filthy. I just want you to learn the technique of writing the poem. I wrote one for the school um, a couple of years ago uh, because we are a medical school. I tried to come up with some medical poems, so I, I have a few. There once was a man in his 80s who cooked to impress all the ladies. But instead of a hog, he cooked up his dog. And now all the ladies have rabies. I like that one because I like the, uh, the interior rhyme of ladies and rabies right together. I, um, I'll talk a little bit more about how to write them. And I've got one more, but I, I have to warn you, um, it's about current events. I'm constantly washing my hands and I've had to cancel all of my plans because a man thought a bat would great, make a great snack and now I can work without pants. Now, okay, I, I, I am wearing pants. Um, we're, we're trying to set a good example here because uh, my, my child who's four has a very complicated relationship with pants that we're working on. Uh, but yeah, and it's just a joke, okay? And the, um, the bat thing is, is an urban legend that I'm kind of making fun of here. Um, there are connections with the virus and bats and also an adorable little creature that you've probably never heard of called a pangolin. Let me see if I have one to show you. Yeah, so they are highly trafficked in many parts of the world. And uh, anytime you put exotic animals together in one environment where they don't belong, um, it can lead to negative consequences. But if you want to find more about find out more about animals or diseases, uh, you need to talk to a science teacher and not a creative writing teacher. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of adults who need to hear that too. Talk to the scientists. Talk to the doctors. They're the ones that know about diseases. All right, let's go back to Candyland. That thing looks like it belongs in Hogwarts, actually. It would probably be safer if it did. Okay, let me talk about how to write a limerick. I recommend, because in limericks, the first line is usually a throwaway line, like, there once was a man named Dave, or there once was a girl from Nantucket. So those kinds of lines, they could be from anywhere. Their name could be anything. Don't worry about that. Pay attention to the ending. That's where your punchline is going to be. Have that zinger at the end and then work backwards. The B line, that little couplet there, that rhyming pair, um, they, that's pretty easy to do. And I often get so many different ones that I like, it's hard for me to choose. But, but having too many choices can be a good kind of problem to have. Because hey, you could just write another one. The other thing I want to show you is that if you are stuck or you feel like you aren't all that clever, there is a wonderful resource that I will show you soon. Here it is. A rhyming dictionary online. Now, they are still working on <laughs> coming up with rhymes for the word purple. Um, they're still working on that. So, uh, and silver right here is one that doesn't have a rhyme, but uh, if they uh, come up with something, I'll let you know. But yeah, try using a rhyming dictionary. Good luck on your limericks. Uh, 
send me the good ones. Have a great day. Bye.